got a fairly good stock of kiln dried in at the moment. 18 cages, got 100 nets going out today. Season stock. So I'm just bringing an update on the kill. I've finally put the door on. And I have put expanding foam in the floor to stop the, uh, the hot air coming underneath. Gave the burner a full clean yesterday. burner soon ramps up temperature once that door shut as well. You can see that we've got a little bit of steam coming out. These went in yesterday afternoon so they've only been in for 14-15 hours. Very wet. So we've got 16 cages in here. The rest of the the kill in a single layer. So that's a little update on the kiln. Um, just a few subtle adjustments um, to make it more efficient with the door going on and the foam underneath the wall. Before I put the foam in, there was quite a lot of moisture coming in from the kiln area into the boiler, uh, sorry, in the burner room. And um, a lot of moisture was getting trapped on the walls uh, and inside the door was quite a lot of water in there. So um, now I put the foam in, that seems to have resolved it. Uh, there's still a bit of a gap around the tube um, that goes into the, the burner room. I might just put some insulation in there to try and seal it off. Um, and then the door keeps the warm air in and makes it really efficient. I tend to load it up in the morning, kind of mid-afternoon and then late at night. And that's all I have to do. Uh, it, I mean, it all depends on what I'm burning. If it's scraps, then obviously I have to fill it up a little bit more. But um, big chunks of hardwood, it... it Kind of just slumbers its way through the day um at the end there you could see that was the second day i think and then the third day so the the moisture is starting to come down and the temperature is starting to go up we tend to hit around 75 to 80 degrees celsius in the kiln it's when i know it's starting to get pretty dry and then the moisture inside 14 15 16 percent start testing the logs let them cool down, split them in half, and then do a six point test. Um, so add all them up and then divide it by six and then take the average. And, um, and if it's under 20%, they're ready to go. Uh, at the moment, we've got some very green ash. It's lovely straight stuff, but it's very green, summer cut, and it's taking six days to do a batch. So I'm kind of doing a batch a week, changing it over on the Sunday and then, um, and then, like cracking on again throughout the week, drying logs. Um, I'll give you another little um, insight into the kiln here. You can't really see much, because I've obviously got the four cages this end. Um, and it's not that cold at the moment. Um, so you can't physically see the steam coming out the vents here. Um, when it's cold, there's steam pouring out. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you that now and I'll end the video. Um, but yeah, we're up to 700 subscribers now, nearly, I think, when I'm, uh, when I'm uh, making this video. Um, so it's growing, which is nice. It's nice to see. Comments are still coming in. Try to answer as many comments as possible. Um, 
yeah so if you're not subscribed subscribe like the video if you like what you see and um there is more coming i am filming quite a bit it's just the editing that's taking the time um so yeah got a load more concrete as well i actually didn't video that because concrete stressful enough um but yeah i've extended the yard quite a lot nice bit hard standing it's just making things a lot cleaner and um yeah just improving the yard really so still got quite a bit of timber we've got uh, two more loads coming in next monday uh i've got a load of deliveries going out today and i need to process for the next batch it is currently thursday and this needs to be changed over on sunday so i need to make another 16 cages up um I need to process another 16 cages to go in uh, on Sunday, really. So that's what I'm kind of doing in the evenings. If I can knock out four or five cages, it doesn't take too long before I've got my 16 again. So, yeah, we're cracking through it. We're doing well. Burn it is fantastic. One of the best investments I've made on my company. And, um, yeah, possibly looking to expand it as well. So... That'd be exciting. Just fall down to that. It's pretty steaming in there still. That's how much water is coming out of this thing. Smells lovely in here. Really starting to open up now. As I said, can't really see much. But it's pretty bloody warm in here. 